Uh, it was great to get back home. Um, uh, a lot of people in seats today, which I thought was terrific for a Sunday at noon. Um, you know, probably wasn't the greatest schedule in the world playing a team that junk defenses the whole game right after Christmas. Um, we finally figured it out a little bit right before half, um, and then got it going really well in the second half. Uh, it's good to see Chol play play well. Uh, gave us some really good minutes uh, on both ends, and. Um, you know, I was just proud of our guys. I thought we really played well. I think Brian's a really good team that's going to win a lot of games. They've won four in a row coming in here. And, um, you know, once we figured out offensively how to play, we were good. We shot the ball better. Seven for 14 for three. We were a dominant rebounding team, which is, we knew we had to be. So just the turnovers uh, we have to do a better job with. But uh, a lot of that has to do with their defenses and us just getting really used to it uh, uh, as the game went on. Questions, please. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. The Jacklin's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Mark, given, given you know, how, how uh, little he's practiced uh, and this being his first game, did he did totally exceed your expectations for, for his first time now? Yeah, he's been really good in practice um, at different times. Um, but no, I thought he'd be a little bit more nervous, um, a little bit more out of it. Because um, he, he's not only practiced a little bit, but early in the year he was in class when we were practicing, so he wasn't at practice for a lot of our practices when he was hurt. So for him to do what he did tonight was, was, was pretty impressive. Um, a lot of it was ball street defense. He wasn't really a big part of the offense in the second half because of the, we changed our offense to. But, he was good. His attitude was good. And what he did is he energized the building. He energized our team. I thought him and Dante Scott, Dante had seven offensive rebounds. Those guys kind of energized us uh, today, which was great. Mark, along those lines, you had 19 offensive rebounds to their 12 defensive rebounds. Obviously a size advantage to you guys, but just how important, not necessarily important, but how encouraging is it to have that kind of performance? Uh, to <laughs> well, we've been a good rebounding team. Uh, really the last... Uh, five five games maybe six games we've been really good rebounding team um, I think it was a uh, one is teams are worried about our transition so they send everybody back so we're off you know four guys against one really trying to get a defensive rebound um, uh, and then I think in the second half we were able to break them down off the dribble and they had to come help which freed us to the board so it's part of what we wanted to do um, they're a pretty good rebounding team, too, if you look at the numbers uh, for what they've done this year. So that, that's as dominant. I don't know if I've ever had a team 48-16 uh, on the board. That's pretty dominant. Wow. What progression have you seen from Dante Scott and how crucial was his play in you know, extending the league instead of now? Yeah, I, I think he was a little out of sorts to start. And, and you got to give Brian credit for the way they play. They, they kind of get you out of sorts if you haven't seen it. If we played him again tomorrow, we'd be much better. You know, the game went on, we got better. So he was a little out of it at the start, but I, I thought his minutes towards the end of the half and the whole second half were terrific. He just gives us great energy. He can really guard. He's got toughness. Um, and, um, you know, I, I, I think his, you know, he's just going to get better and better as the year goes on. So really happy for him. Seven offensive rebounds in limited time. Uh, it's terrific. Back uh, Coach, would you say that you're how, – how, what's your assessment of the team headed into conference play? Well, um, you know, we're, we're getting better. Right now it's hard because we've had two games and Christmas – we had finals and we had Christmas break. So – but, you know, Indiana's going to come in the same way. I mean, they're going to play today like we did and they're not going to play again until Saturday. So we're kind of all on the same page, which I think makes it easier. Um, I think we continue to learn about our team. I'll say, I, I think this week we've gotten a lot better in practice. Um, 
who practiced for Indiana and Ohio State and the rest of the Big Ten. The first two days we came back from Christmas, we had one day we go to practice for Ryan. So, um, you know, I, I think that's key. And uh, we're just still, I think we're still trying to figure out our bench, right? And I think today gave us some confidence and some different guys. Sorrell came back with this unbelievably great attitude. That's why he got in. Um, he's never hung his head. He just keeps trying to do the right thing. So you know, he's a veteran, sophomore, but he's a veteran to our team. And, you know, hopefully that will help us move forward, too. Andy in the back, though. Uh, sorry for getting off topic, but uh, Mikel and Kyle Mitchell's mom tweeted during the game that uh, I think the decision to enter the transfer portal wasn't mutual among some other things. Do you have comments no, on that? Or? No comment. Yeah. Wayne in the back. Well, when you talk about limiting the turnovers, especially early in the game, you being a point guard, what, what do you tell your guys to, to be more aware of those early turnovers? Yeah, it's. Now we've turned it over a lot the last three games, so we were really doing well early in the year. We were around nine, nine and a half. We've turned it over more lately. Um, give Brian a little credit today. You know, a little discombobulated, but we're, we're working on it. We're working on it. And uh, first half, we had 10 assists on 13 baskets, which I liked. Um, we, we weren't good against the double team. We had two turnovers against the double team. Troll dropped it. You know, that's just rust for him. Um, and then Wiggs turns it over in transition. Those are the ones that you know, kind of drive you crazy, and, and we're better than that. But we'll keep plugging, keep working, and it's early. I know it doesn't feel that way, but it's a weird time for all college basketball right now, and you just kind of get through it, and hopefully we'll find more rhythm here in the next couple of weeks. Don. Mark, uh, aside with the turnovers, Anthony did not have any. Yeah. Um, in terms of the way he played, I know there was a couple of rough spots early where he would go after a loose ball and things like that, but is that the way you want him to play in terms of really just trying to dictate and you know, maybe changing pace a little bit more? Yeah, I, I couldn't be more pleased with Anthony. This whole season he's been terrific. And Anthony's better when his teammates are playing well. So like, when he doesn't feel like he has to carry, have to carry us throughout a game, he can play like he played today. And um, his decision making was great, his defense was great, his leadership was great, he never stops talking. Um, he's saying all the right things in the locker room. He's, I mean, it's really great to see. And um, that's what seniors are supposed to do. And really on paper, I think he's our only senior, but Travis Allen. Um, so, um, really proud of him and uh, continues. And he just keeps doing all the right things. He keeps doing that's gonna make us a better team as we go on. Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.